Hi folks, and it's a bit of a different Good Friday, isn't it? But nonetheless, it's a very special day as we remember the crucifixion. I had a message from a friend recently who said they were sitting watching one of our broadcasts at the kitchen table when her little three-year-old son asked her, Mommy, why does Ali love Jesus so much? And the mother began to reply, well, it's because God is, is so good and God looks after us and God loves us. To which the three-year-old asked, well, mommy, if God is so good, why doesn't he take this coronavirus away? It's a question that even a three-year-old is asking. And to be honest, I don't have an answer to that question. But I, the thing I'd like to talk about today is the if at the beginning of the sentence. If God loves us. And I'd like to take the if away. And I'd like us today to know in our hearts, to be absolutely assured that God does love us. And we know that he loved us because while we were still sinners, Christ died for us. God gave his son to be an atoning sacrifice for our sin. I heard a story once, it's, it's a sad story. It's a story about a young man who was training to be a doctor. And he'd come home on the summer holidays and his mother, who was a widow, was so delighted to see him because he was her only son. And such, since it was such a beautiful day, they decided to go to the beach and, and have a picnic. And as they were laying out the picnic blanket and enjoying some of the lovely food that they had brought with them, in a the distance the young man saw these arms flailing in the sea. He was a particularly strong swimmer and his first reaction was to get up and run to the shore. And there he could see further out there was a young woman caught in, in a riptide and she was shouting and, and waving her arms for help. So the young man, without hesitation, ran into the water, dove in and swam out to where she was. She was caught in a, in a riptide that was, that was pulling her down, sucking her down into the water. And he caught hold of her and he managed to throw her up out of the current so that she could swim safely to the shore. But in the process, he himself got caught in the current and couldn't swim free from it. His mother was standing at this stage at the end of the shore, watching and watching and watching to see if, if her son would emerge again. Meanwhile, the young woman had reached the shore and was being surrounded by her family and friends. The Coast Guard was on the way, but by the time they got there, it was too late and the only son was gone. As you can imagine, the mother was devastated and her pain was unreal. Her heart was ripped apart by the pain of the realization that her son was gone. She went over to the young woman who was standing shivering with the towel around her and she said to her, I'm so glad that you're alive. You know, my son died to rescue you. At which the, woman, the young woman turned around and, and said, well, he needn't have bothered. I'd have been all right. It's unimaginable, isn't it? If we ever doubt that God loves us, just think how much it cost him to give his son that we might be rescued, that we might be saved. And how ungrateful would we be if we were to turn around and say, well, he needn't have bothered. I'm good enough the way I am. On Good Friday, so many walk by and ignore Jesus' sacrifice on the cross. We ask the question, is it nothing to you, all you who pass by? In the words of scripture, how will we escape if we neglect such great salvation? Don't throw it back in God's face today. Receive his love. Put your trust in the Saviour who died on the cross that you might know his saving love. God bless and have a great Good Friday.